Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Um, I just left this message because I think it appropriately describes the situation. Despair ahead. And I think we're going to be feeling plenty of despair in this episode as I move into this area. What is it called? Like the Black Gulch or something? Alright, this is not going to be fun. Because each time I die, I'm going to have to do all of this shit all over again. Break these fucking statues. Would like to get to my souls. Oops. Oh, well, that doesn't help. The main concern for me here is obviously the poison. Oh, uh, don't do that. And also my weapon durability. I'm sure there is a boss at the end of this. Um, so far, it's, it's, it looks like the gutter doesn't actually have a boss. <laughs> but... This place... I think w it will. Alright. Need to stay calm. The halberd really isn't suited for this shit. Would like to. Yep. I just got poisoned in the face. Got my souls back at least. I'm gonna wait for my poison to run out. Because holy shit. Whoa! What the fuck? Alright. What the hell is that? Damn. Let's use a life gem. What the fuck is that? Well, at least we know what the pulls are for. Looks like the Hand of Manus from Dark Souls. The problem is, my attack pushes it back quite a bit. So it's going to be out of range. What does it drop? A large Titanite shard? Well, I guess you could call this a farming spot. I would call it hell more than a farming spot. But whatever works for you. Okay, that one is poisonous as well. I'm going to go take it out. Which one was it? Oh, it was that. This one right there. Watch out. I'm guessing those two at the end there will spit poison at you. Just a guess. Do I even have anything to remove it? Oh wait, shit, I have eight of these. Why don't I have them equipped? I honestly thought I don't have any of these. Alright, let's... What is this, dragon charm? Cure poison, well, I think that's a little too valuable for me to use. What else do I have in here? Magic defense, unfortunately there isn't one that increases poison resistance. I do have a common fruit. So you know what, we'll pop one of these before attempting to do this. Oh wait, no, this is... I was worried they were going to be assholes and these two would spit at you while you were trying to open the chest. Shuttle and great magic weapon. The shuttle is actually a pretty good weapon. Okay, I still don't know which one of them have enemies in them. Ah, shit. I'm poisoned. Damn it. What spat at me? That last one. Where did it come from? Oh, shit. Which one is it? It must be one of the ones that's on the ground. Yup. Ah, oh, shit. The problem is they stagger you too, which is... Come on, use an SS... Hurry up. Oh, what is that? That doesn't look good. Well, it doesn't seem to react. Like, how are you supposed to get through this shit? Like, seriously? I don't mind the challenge. But, as mentioned in my Earthen Peak episode, oh, that's what they do. Well, I can just do this over and over again. 
As mentioned in the Earthen Peak episode, poison is really not my favorite thing. I don't mind having like one poison area, <laughs> but this is just getting a little too much. Obviously you need a poison area in every game. But this is like the third now. Yeah, we had Harvest Valley. The fourth actually. We had Harvest Valley, um, Earthen Peak, the gutter, and now this place. Okay, two more should do it. I can actually hit it. Good. That works too, I guess. Not taking any chances, let me tell you. Is that... Hmm... Okay, not all of these have enemies in them. The ones that do... Actually, they're, these guys are not so bad. You know what I'd really appreciate? A new bonfire would be... Kind of you guys. They, there's something there. I'm gonna pick it up. Radiant life gem? Alright. I'm guessing these guys have a grab move. Just from the way they are shaped. Okay, there's the boss. Alright, let's... Shit. Is he gonna aggro? I don't know. Might be too far. No, he's coming. I really should, you know what? Now that I thought of this, we're gonna put back, I think I had the, um, where is it, Ring of Blades on. Hmm, I would venture in here, but I'm a bit scared of that. There's a treasure chest there. Okay, I cannot get to, yeah, that's... Not gonna get me. There you go, finally. And this turned out to be a mimic. Holy shit. Divine blessing. Well, that helps, helps me a fuck ton, doesn't it? Ah, uh, so much poison. Okay, you know what? I'll take a bus right about now. Holy shit. Anything to get out of that play. Oh, shit. I just realized I don't have durability. Oh, that's lovely. This area as a whole is really lovely. What is this, a fucking great unclean one? Looks like one. All right. Let's prepare to die. This shit is gonna rack my ass oh and let me guess it poisons me because we haven't had enough of that already okay what is this guy called the rotten the rotten bastard who designed this area oh I'm dealing decent damage to a boss what are the chances alright that was not a smart idea should really learn to dodge him instead of blocking, but blocking works too. Hmm, yeah, that's lovely. Put fire here too. They pushed me into the fire, but you know what? It doesn't actually seem so bad. The fact that I can deal decent damage to it. I wonder if you can lure it into the fire if he's stupid enough to do that. And the other thing I wonder... Is it possible to make like a straight run to the boss? I'm guessing no. But you know what? We're certainly gonna try. No, it's not possible. Unless you take like r little breaks occasionally. Well, this is gonna be a drawn out process if this guy turns out to be a bitch and keeps killing me. I'm gonna try the problem is there are so many of those spitters before the fog gate. You know what? I'm just gonna 
Where, yeah, I have two charcoal pine resins. Because I have a feeling if this guy is weak to anything, he's going to be weak to... No, yeah, there is no way to make this run. Or maybe. Oh, well, lovely. I think I better start cutting because... Well, the problem is I'm gonna when I'm gonna when I'm gonna get to him, I'll always have like no durability on my weapon. Holy shit! They really, really made this game difficult. I'm gonna admit it. I can't even imagine how someone feels who never played Dark Souls or Demon Souls. Like this is their first experience with the series. It's gonna drive them insane. No one rated my message, even though I think it's. Fitting. Uh, okay. I gotta stay calm. Don't really know. Yeah, because this is why I don't like poison. Because there is nothing I can do about it. Like, if. Well, the only thing I could do is use my fucking dragon halberd to break these. And then keep my halberd uh, for the actual boss. I could do that. But this is why I don't like poison. Like I said this before with enemies. You can do something about enemies. Like you could go back to Majula, upgrade your shield, or you know, do something like that. Learn their moves. Poison, there is nothing you can do about it. You can spend like ten minutes breaking all of these or just deal with the poison. I'm getting spat at. Sometimes it's difficult to tell which one is shooting at you. And these hand things. Someone was someone had enough of this area. Seems like decided it would be an easier way out. They're just going to grab me cuz yeah, the fucking poison Yeah, the weapon is dealing... Oh, I'm dead. Alright, gotta stay well away from that shit. Well, try again. I, I really should start cutting, shouldn't I? You know what, I'm gonna do that. See you guys in a second. Okay, so I saw a message uh, down here on this ledge so I decided to go ahead and jump off I don't know where this leads if this will actually make my life easier hopefully it does um, yeah discovered this completely by accident thank you for that message I didn't show the actual jump because oh no well I screwed up but I get it where I get where it leads These worms are actually not too bad. I should have put my normal halberd on. Because, yeah, this is dealing less damage. This seems to be like a common theme here on this playthrough that enemies survive with like a fraction of their HP remaining. That one is just waiting to poison you. We get scraps of life and a torch. And a fucking asshole. Alright, I'm gonna use one. I really don't want to go back. <laughs> Do a fucking bonfire right now. Okay, good. This is large soul of a nameless soldier. Pretty much useless. This guy is having like a mini freak out here. Okay. What I'm gonna do... I don't know what I'm gonna do, actually. Because... This definitely seems, this run definitely seems ridiculous. So, I don't know, I have a feeling that there's a bonfire in here, somewhere. I mean, FromSoft are known to be relentless, but I think this is too much even for them. I mean, Blighttown was like jack shit compared to this. Maybe because I was used to Blighttown by the end. Seems like this weapon does, by the way, have m better durability than the normal halberd. 
You know what, and it's functional for this area right now. For what I'm doing, but for the boss, I definitely want my normal halberd. Good. The only place I didn't really explore is down where the boss is, because I basically just ran to it. Okay, break these two. Alright, just gotta stay patient. Actually doing fairly well here. Ugh, crap. Not gonna be able to hit them, am I? Okay, that works. Sort of. Should wait for my poison to run out. Oh, where is it? Where? Which one is it? The one on the ground? Yeah, that was it. Alright, it's so far. Oh shit. God damn it. Hopefully, yeah, these guys are not too fast. No! Watch out, shit. Thought I was in range. God damn it, I cannot even see where they're all shooting from. Okay, we're gonna have to break some of these on this side too. Basically cutting was pretty pointless. I thought I was just gonna like... I don't know what I was <laughs> thinking. It was pointless. Yeah, I'm poisoned. I might as well do this. Get my mileage out of this. I'm really hoping there's a bonfire here somewhere. Okay, where else was there? This one definitely spits. And then... This one does. And these two. Bam. Alright, let's explore. I think I'm actually slightly in the clear. Have I gone down that path? That's where the treasure chest was, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, so this is kind of pointless, I think, unless there's a secret door behind it, which there isn't. And then we have the other side. Oh, shit. Gotta watch out for these. Is it? No, it's not dead. I was gonna say, I didn't hear the dying noise that enemies make. Bonfire. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Whew. Okay, I'm still at... My HP is not doing really well. As you can probably tell. There must be a way down to the boss. Alright. Yeah, I could have guessed that. We have Ferris's Lockstone. Okay. Let's see if it's actually possible to run. Okay, do these not do these respawn or do these not respawn? They might respawn when you die. Alright, let's try this boss once more. Wonder if you can lure it onto the fire. I really do. Is it stupid enough to go on there? Yeah, it's stupid enough, but it doesn't hurt him. Okay, have a rage freak out there. That's... I gotta be careful of that attack. Grab. Oh, shit. Mash, mash, mash. That didn't kill me. Shit. By the way, it looks like... Um, mashing to escape grips. Doesn't work anymore in this game. I think it's best not to lock on. Yeah, this is one of those... Always when facing these uh, very large bosses. Oh! Thought he was going for the grab. Alright, you know what? This guy is beatable. With the amount of damage I'm doing, definitely. 
not locking on is probably the key as with any of these larger bosses like i said i'm gonna try him one more time if things don't don't work out i think i'm gonna go back to um medulla now see how many npcs sell um human effigies and i'll buy as many as i can yeah now they respawn let's try this okay so yeah w when you die they respawn not when you um rest at a bonfire which is i guess it's the same as the traps in sense fortress oops that was my mistake i should have dodged instead of running That's a deadly move. This fucking um slam down. That's what killed me. Let me tell you the charcoal pine resin is helping. I think. Thank fuck for the range of this weapon. Hopefully this guy doesn't have like a second phase or some shit. Oh, I got lucky there. Alright, get away! Ugh. I'm still alive, surprisingly. Okay, I'm... Doing well, actually. And you're dead. Whew. He's actually dead. Great soul embraced. Soul of the rotten. That was loud as hell. Holy shit, he's dead. We got the fucking organ music. Telling us we succeeded. There's treasure there. Not even gonna attempt to get that. I just killed this motherfucker. I have 51,000 souls. Holy shit. Fine work. What is this? Some good treasure, I'm assuming. Sublime bone dust. Nice. Oh yeah, and we got the teleport bonfire. Fine work. Keep moving. This is gonna check. Bunch of messages talking about victory yeah it is dark here all right i'm guessing there's nothing there holy shit i actually did it i didn't think this would happen in this episode and you know what that means that means we never have to come back to this area ever again except in my other playthroughs not gonna be looking forward to that, but it's not it's something we have to do. But holy shit I'm happy. Let's see what she has to say. The soul and the curse are one and the same. Your soul has grown stronger still. Damn right it does. I only hope it brings you what you wish. Well after that, I better hope it does too. Alright, let's level up. I'm gonna leave a couple of souls maybe for... Hmm, I guess we'll go for adaptability. You can get four levels. We'll get three. And what I'm, think I'm thinking is I'm gonna visit her and see how many human effigies she has to sell. Five. We'll get all five. I think at this stage that would actually be really helpful. And what else do we really need? Honestly, I think that's about it. Never ever going down there again, let me tell you. Alright, you know what that means? Iron Keep is up next. Um, I was stuck on a boss. 
this smelter demon last time. But after beating this area, I have new confidence. I'm just gonna go ahead and check the global death count. Plenty of deaths. That's what I like to see. Alright, I'm gonna end it here. I feel like that was a really successful episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.